Hello Taurus, how are you? Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. This is a general reading for your Taurus placements for January 10th through the, what, 17th? Yeah. If you get anything out of this, please do hit that thumbs up and check your other signs. And I go live five or six days a week. Um, I do all 12 signs and free readings. Make sure you check those out. They are lit. Taurus, your cards are here. Four of Michael, three of Raphael, page of Ariel, and the moon. Oh my God, you have an opportunity coming into you that is unexpected, I think. I do, I do. You need to get away from gossip and anyone else, anyone that's telling you no, you couldn't or you shouldn't. You do have reasons to celebrate. Concentrate on those. Look towards those. Because you are about to get busy. You're, you're going to have an opportunity to improve your plans. But it does mean that you're going to have to face your fears, Taurus. Okay? I think that, that you're making a decision that is going to bring in opportunities. Because you are allowing the new. Okay, here you go. Eight of air. Five of earth. Four of fire. Six of fire. Ooh, I like that. That's a nice progression. Okay, you are feeling stuck. You're not sure what to do. You have fear surrounding wisdom. You have fear surrounding wisdom. You have fears about making the wrong choice. Could be about money, but you don't need to fear that, okay? Mm -mm, no, no. If you're trying to make a decision, you have fears. Oh my gosh, would you look at that? Holy crap, I love this reading. <laughs> you have fears about making a wrong choice could could have to do with money but i don't think that you need to fear it okay i think that if you do make a choice and you decide that's not what i wanted to do after all that it's not going to be too difficult for you to go ahead and change yeah F four of fire on top of page of Ariel. Yeah, you're going to be, you're going to make this decision, make the change. And I think it's going to turn out so much better than what you think. Victory, good news. Okay. Now, on the four of Michael, you need to get some stress relief here. Okay. If you need to sleep, get some sleep. You need to meditate, make sure you do that. Go out and ground. Eight of air, an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence. What's on that? Eight of winter. This means that you are in a cycle of self-doubt. You are definitely in a cycle of not allowing your body to rest when it needs to and to exercise when it needs to. You are in a cycle whomever I am tapping in for, and take this whichever way it goes for you specifically, all right? But from what I am seeing here, you're not allowing yourself to get the right amount of sleep. You're not allowing yourself to get the right foods or the right amount of exercise, whatever it is, okay? And it's only hindering your mental processes, all right? You're in a cycle because this is a good way to keep yourself stuck, Three of Raphael, five of Earth, and Ace of Spring. It's time to take action. Be fearless and happily pursue what you choose. Amazing career opportunities are coming in. Accept help from others and a com new community. You have people around you or you're going to be having with this change, people around you that you're going to enjoy. All right? Page of Ariel, an ox excellent opportunity is being offered to you. Four of fire, contentment, peace, and abundance. A successful completion. Two of winter, indecision is holding you back. You're afraid of things. You're afraid of the boogeyman under the bed when you're sleeping in a hammock. Do you get what I'm saying? Your fears are completely unfounded. It's just a lack of self-confidence and a fear to move forward. However, let me tell you right now, with the moon, the six of fire, and the high priestess, baby, you already know. 
you already know. The opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition, face your fears, and grow stronger. Six of fire, victory, good news. High priestess, trusting your intuition, careful reflection before taking action, insights to come through meditation. If you're not sure what to do, it's because you're blocking your intuition. Because your intuition is just absolutely screaming at you. Your self-doubt is getting in the way of you hearing. Okay? So put that on hold. Put your self-doubt on hold. And like I said, I think that whatever you decide, even if you decide after you made the, make the choice, you can still change it. So it's not that big of a deal. You know what I mean? I think that you're, you're, you're giving life to shadows. You're giving life to shadows, but you're refusing to, to see where you absolutely are more than capable. And that is your holdup, your indecision, not wanting to face your fear. You absolutely can do this. You're going to have help. It's your fear to, that's to be overcome, okay? Ace of Swords. I just said what was right. Eight of Pentacles, the world, and the lovers. We need one more on that. Ace of Wands. Oh my God. Okay, Taurus, it's time for you to get realistic. Is it realistic for you to be afraid of every bump in the night? No, it is not. Ace of Swords. Get realistic, not pessimistic. Did you hear me? Get realistic and not pessimistic. Eight of Pentacles. Yes, you're going to be putting in the work. Yes, you absolutely are. This is someone who has not yet mastered their craft. They're putting the work in so that they become masters. The world, by doing this, by making this choice, you are closing out a cycle successfully. Successfully. Lovers, this is your choice. Ace of Wands on where you go next. Two aces in a row with the world and the lovers. And now the chariot. <coughs> but you're afraid that this move is going to be too much for you too much for you to handle whatever this is you feel like it's going to leave you out in the cold and like you're not going to be happy that's your fears talking that's your fears talking two of wands king of swords get analytical two of cups what do you really want what do you really want? It's time for you to go after what you want. And it looks to me like you want a happy home, whatever that may mean to you. You want, you want joy and, and, and lightheartedness. It is here for you. It is sitting here waiting for you to make the decision. Nine of cups, but what are you hiding? What are you hiding? Ten of pentacles six of swords that you've got to move on from certain family members that you've got to move on from a job your intuition is screaming at you tower knight of pentacles your intuition is screaming at you that you need to make a plan you need to face your fears you need to get going on this okay we're gonna pull some cards for you some advice cards It's your own self-doubt, Taurus. It is your own self-doubt. Get realistic, not pessimistic. All right, love? Okay. I got a new deck. Can't wait. Can't wait to show you. Okay, first we're going to pull a Dragon Path card for Taurus, please, for January 10th through the 17th. Dragon Path card, please, for Taurus, January 10th through the 17th. Oh, no, 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 we do not. I think you know that you can't take the past with you and that you don't know how you're going to move forward if you don't have a tie, but you're going to be fine. Luna, number 18, I love this card. And your first card card out was the ace of swords 18 
Luna. Okay. Embrace and accept what you really feel. If you have been feeling overwhelmed, it is fine to ask for help. This is not a weakness, but an acknowledgement that you have been strong for far too long on your own. A little self-care wouldn't go amiss either. What did I say about getting sleep? You can fully be who you want to be once you embrace and accept what you really feel. Only then can you truly transform. Activities that are good for the soul are good for the soul. You can lose yourself in the moment. Wait, what? She urges us, okay, she urges us to follow our creativity and to revisit latent talents, whether they are musical, written, in the field of performing, so on. She says, these activities are good for the soul. You can lose yourself in the moment, become engrossed in a piece of work, and embrace the bliss that accompanies such activities. Read a book, okay, anything, anything that you enjoy going for walks in nature. Allow that to help ground you. Celebrate the joy that is around you to help you. If you can't figure out what, you, but you already know, you already know, it's your own self-doubt. Do something that you enjoy to curb the self-doubt, okay? And now we're going to pull a Mystic Martian Oracle. Yes. Look at the backs. Isn't that cool? Grays, tall. Utilitarian, organized, and intimidating. So they're asking you to be organized and have enough confidence in yourself that people just take a step back from you when you walk in. Because they're like, not messing with that one. Okay? Experiment. Yes. Experiment. Just like I said in the very beginning. You can't make a wrong decision here because you can change it later. Don't be afraid to experiment. Okay, guys. You know I love you. I hope to see you during a live. See you soon. Peace to you. Ciao.